Most of the schoolie tutorials I followed had actual furniture built into the vehicle that couldn't be moved. But I decided I wanted most of my furniture to be movable, just in case I wanted to change up the space. When I first bought this bus, the original owner had a very nice countertop cabinet. He had made the countertop himself and a storage bench. He used it mostly for camping and fishing. So my brother helped me move the countertop. I wanted it on the other side so that I could have the kitchen and the bathroom together. And it was a bit of a process trying to get it moved over there. I painted it blue. I definitely kept the beautiful countertop that the original owner had made. And after we got it stationary and we did the floors and the walls, I started shopping for the different types of furniture that I wanted. Now, most people, like I said, build the furniture inside um, and they usually have carpentry skills. My only stationary furniture pieces are the cabinet and a small bookshelf that I have screwed into the wall. Everything else can be moved around as needed. Now, in order to store my belongings, I decided to get some storage ottomans so that they could also be used for seating. And they weren't very expensive at all. Like, I, I can't remember, like 30 bucks a piece or something like that. And they've been so handy because I've gotten rid of most of my possessions. So I have those sitting snugly. I have them secured to the floor with Velcro and got a few decorative pillows. I've got my closet hanging there. Anything on the shelf is also secured with Velcro, so nothing really moves around. I've got a little shoe caddy and I've got um, a small shelf to store things. And I haven't had too many problems with things moving when I'm driving, except for the recliner. I also got a recliner because I think they're super comfortable and I've had a hard time keeping that one on the floor. So I'll have to come up with a better idea. For sleeping arrangements, I decided just to go with a futon. Um, it's fairly comfortable. It's more comfortable when I put like a memory foam mattress down on top of it, but it makes for comfortable seating. And I keep the books on the bookshelf um, contained using like a bungee cord. And everything else has stayed pretty secure. So I like the arrangement personally. I like the ability to be able to take things out and move them around as needed. And move-in day was a lot of fun because I got my entire family to help me. We hung up the closet, we put the futon together, and we had a little party. It was kind of like a, a bus warming party and me moving out of my parents' house again. And so after all of that, this was the end result. Let me know about your furnishing experiences.